हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर प्रियल पांडे योर टीचर फॉर द सब्जेक्ट जियो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स एंड नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर प्रिसीजन फार्मिंग कोड फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट इज एग्रॉन थ्री वन वन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट एंड इंट्रोडक्टरी क्लास ऑफ योर्स टूडे वी विल सिंपली अंडरस्टैंड द सब्जेक्ट द रीजन बिहाइंड स्टडिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट एंड फ्यू जनरल टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू दिस सब्जेक्ट लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट the first thing i want to tell you that this subject includes three words first one is the geoinformatics second one is the nanotechnology and third one is the precision farming geoinformatics geoinformatics is basically a science which relates the geographic geography geographical science along with the informational technology in this subject in this topic we will understand about the land features natural vegetations the soil feature in with observation with the along with the observation with satellite remote sensing and the global positioning system the second one is the nanotechnology in nanotechnology basically we understand the nano dimensional object or the object having a dimension of 10 to the power minus 9 meter which will be useful for improving the efficiency of technology used in the precision farming the implementation of nanotechnology in the precision farming is in the form of small sensors monitoring device or in the form of nano delivery system which are used as a slow release carrier or slow release delivery system of fertilizer pesticide or any other agrochemicals the third one is the precision farming all uh, these two technology are basically used for improving the efficiency of the precision farming now what is precision farming other name for the precision farming is our satellite farming it is also called as site specific crop management system this is basically a farming management system which mainly deals with improving the farm management along with the goal of optimizing returns on the input while while preserving the resources means smaller am- amount of inputs can be added to the soil and more and more yield can be produced this is the main concept behind the precision farming so this is the first lecture and in today's lecture we will study about certain things first one is the precision agriculture what is the precision agriculture the second one is why the precision agriculture is needed as we are simply following the techniques which we are following since very and very 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 earlier so what is the need to change the cropping uh, to change the cropping pattern or cropping management system what is the main concept of the precision agriculture precision farming main tools and techniques which are used for the precision farming we will also study about all that and now what are the certain issues and concerns of the precision agriculture which we are facing as an indian means this type of farming has been adopted by so many developed countries but we are facing a lot of problem in adopting this precision agriculture to the india so what are the main what are the main issues and concerns for adopting or for adopting the precision agriculture precision farming or precision agriculture what is it precision farming is an approach where inputs are utilized in precise amount to get to get increased average yields compared to the traditional cultivational technique more than 50% of the operational holding in our country has a size less than 1 hectare only few states in the india like punjab rajasthan haryana and gujarat have 20% of the land holding more than 4 hectare so commercial as well as horticultural crops which are produced there have a scope for precision farming but 
most of the part of the india most of the farmer have very less amount of very small land holding so the basic concept behind studying this precision agriculture is that how to aware the farmer for using this type of technology even though they have a smaller land holding this precision agriculture basically includes precise application of agricultural inputs with respect to soil weather crop need in order to improve the productivity quality and the profitability in the agriculture the main techniques main practices which are used in the precision agriculture are gis that is the geographical information system second one is the gps that is global positioning system and third one is the remote sensing we will discuss all these terms later on this precision agriculture basically includes the application of pesticide fertilizer tillage or irrigation water in a precise manner so that more and more amount of yield can be produced with less application of all these inputs or loss of these inputs the precision agriculture is basically called as 4r concept or basically it is a 4r farming what do you mean by the 4r farming that is the right thing in the right place in the right way and at right time this is all about the precision farming for, uh, farming now why the precision agriculture is needed there are few reasons why to adopt the precision agriculture the first reason is that for assessing and the management and managing field variability as we know that our field has have variable yield across the landscape because of variation to the management practices soil properties and environmental characteristics so there there are lot of variations in the field so in order to assess and manage that particular variation precision farming is needed second one is that after assessing the variability precision farming allows the management decision to be made and implemented in the right time in the right place on a smaller areas or within within a large field means if we have a larger area around us or even if we have a smaller area there are variabilities means some patch there may be a undulating land there may be a salty patch there may be a acidic patch alkaline patch in the field so the variability in the field must be evaluated and the inputs must be applied on the basis of variability that is the second reason behind adopting the precision agriculture the third one is for the higher productivity since precision farming proposes to prescribe certain management practices it will definitely improve definitely improve the yield per unit of land provided nature's other uncontrollable factors are in favor so that is that is the third reason behind adopting the precision agriculture the fourth one is that for improving the efficiency of inputs in order to improve the yield if a smaller amount of thing can improve the yield very to a much and much more uh, what can we say a smaller amount of input if a smaller amount of input can enhance the yield more then why to waste larger amount of input so effectiveness of input is considered in the precision agriculture that's why it is needed the fourth one is maxima for maximizing use of minimal land unit that is after knowing the status of land a farmer tries to improve each and every part of land and uses it for the production purpose each and every land is different having different chemical properties physical properties if we are well aware well acquainted with all type of land feature all type of differences present in the land we can apply the inputs according to that so a smaller amount of land can produce large oil that's why the precision agriculture is needed 
Now here is the thing precision conservation agriculture. One is the traditional agriculture or the traditional traditional agriculture or it is also called as conventional agriculture. The second one is the conservational agriculture conservation agriculture and the third one the latest one is the precision agriculture. We are following since ages the conventional agriculture. We do not think about what we are adding in the soil, what we are exploiting the exploiting from the soil. We are simply doing what we are doing since ages. The second one is the conservation agriculture. In the conservation agriculture, we think of disturbing the soil minimally in order to incorporate large amount of organic matter in the soil. We think about that also and we also thought of, also think of diversifying the crops in the conservation agriculture. And third one is the precision agriculture. It is a management strategy in which we apply all the things after a definite calculation. In today's era, there is a demand of integration of precision as well as conservation agriculture. Precision agriculture is basically a management technology in order to improve the productivity and economic return with reduced impact on the environment. It is basically a 4 R concept I have already told you that is the right input, right source. Sorry, it is a 4 R concept but basically deals with these things that is the right input, right source, right amount, right place and right time. A conservation agriculture is a concept of optimizing yield, economic and environmental benefit means these uh, this agriculture have three basic concepts. First one is the optimizing crop yield, second one is the economic output and third one is the environmental benefit. The conservation agriculture basically considers of dis disturbing the soil to a minimum way in order to incorporate a permanent organic soil cover and different different crops can be grown in the conservation agriculture. The main aim or the main purpose of this two type of agriculture is the long term ecological and economical sustainable farming which will be available for our future generation also. Now, What is the concept of precision agriculture? The concept behind precision agriculture is the thing that we have to apply the right input, we have to apply in the right amount at right time and at the right place. This is the 4 R concept of the precision farming. What are the technologies which are used in the precision farming are remote sensing, the satellite navigation system, geographical information system, in short it, it is also called as GIS, automatic yield recording system, the soil sensor, variable rate technology, advanced farm management. The precision farming has two main components. First one is the information or database and second one is the technology by which we can adopt the precision farming. What includes in the information or database which is required for the precision farming? There are few database. Let us discuss, discuss about that. The first one is the soil. We have to collect information about soil texture, structure, physical condition, soil moisture and soil nutrient status. Second one is the crop which is the most important one. In this we have to gather information about plant population, nutrient status, crop status, weeds, what are the insect and the pathogen which attack the particular crop. We have to gather information about the climatic factors like temperature, humidity, rainfall, solar radiation and wind velocity. Now what comes in the technology? It, is, it includes, includes a vast array of tools of hardware, software and in equipment like the GPS, GIS, remote sensing and the variable rate. Variable rate, what can we say? Variable rate technology. Here are few concept which leads us, which led us to the adoption of precision farming. Here are the five points which are the most important one. 
the first one is the overall yield increase the precise selection of crop variety the application of exact types and doses of fertilizers pesticide and herbicide and appropriate irrigation meets the demand of crop for optimum growth and development this leads to the yield increase especially in in the areas or field where uniform crop management practices were traditionally applied this is the first reason or first concept for the adoption of precision farming the second one is the efficiency improvement advanced technology including machinery tools and information helps the farmer to improve the efficiency of labor land time in the farming means if we adopt the technology tools and information it will certainly help the farmer as the farmer will become aware about the latest thing and will try to adopt the thing in this way yield will be increased the third one is the reduced production cost this is the this is also a most important one cost is most important factor while adopting anything or when we try certain new things the application of exact quantity of the thing at particular timing reduces the cost of so many inputs like fertilizer pesticide insecticide in addition applying at a particular time improves the yield reduces the crop per unit crop the next one is the better decision making in the agricultural management what includes inside it agricultural machinery equipment and tools help the farmer to acquire accurate information which is processed and analyzed for appropriate decision making in land preparation seeding fertilizer pesticide and herbicide application irrigation drainage and post production technology when we gather information about growth stages of crop the pest population pathogen attack the soil feature it will also help us to decide when to apply the insecticide when to irrigate when to sow crop like that so better decision can be made after application or after adoption of the technology which are used in the precision farming the last one is the accumulation of farmer knowledge for better management with the time what includes in this all precision farming system or field activity produces valuable field and management information the data are stored in the tools and the computer farmer can thus accumulate knowledge about their farm production system in order to achieve the better management all type of information are stored in the computer whenever the farmer wishes to know about the features of his field the nature of its crop he can avail the information which are stored in the computer now what are the tools which are used in the precision farming basically the tools which are used in the precision farming are in the step of data collection in geolocating a particular area identifying the variables of the agriculture in adopting the strategies and implementing the practices in the farm or land area in these certain things the different tools are adopted for the precision farming in data collection in geolocating a particular area identifying the variables which affect the production managing strategies and implementing the agricultural practices these things the first one is the data collection in the data collection basically the tools are tractors combines spray, sprayer planter diggers these type of tools are loaded with new and advanced technology which are used in the precision farming 
various type of sensors are used in the agriculture like stationary sen uh, stationary sensor or portable sensor this includes the soil sensor or plant sensor soil sensor provide us the information about various soil features like texture organic matter moisture nutrient status soil ph condition what type of uh, what type of status of the soil is whether it is compact friable loose the plant sensor tells tells us about the biomass what type of uh, what is the level of nutrient present in the plant the plant having deficiency of which nutrient which type of weeds are present in the surrounding area where the plants are grown whether the plant is having a water stress or not now what are the principles which are adopted for studying this type of features are electrical and electromagnetic features the optical and radiomagnetic features the mechanical acoustic pneumatic and electrochemical these are the certain principle which are used for studying the different parameters in electrical and electromagnetic things the electrical and electromagnetic waves are considered for reading for taking reading about the plant the acoustic and pneumatic principle is basically based on the sound which is produced by the plant or weed population or the air pressure which is present in the surrounding area the optical and radiometric principle basically deals with the light which is transmitted by the plants which is taken up by the plant or which is absorbed by the plant the radio waves which are reflected back from the plants or any uh, vegetation which is present in the soil or any vegetation which is present in the land area here are few different te uh, techniques which are used in the precision farming these are the global positioning system that is the gps the second one is the geographic information system that is the gis the third one is the variable rate technology fourth one is yield monitoring and mapping fourth one is crop scouting and the last one is the remote sensing there are so many other technologies also which are used in the precision farming like robots drone and satellite imagery imagery small uh, smartphone applications or machine learning let us discuss all these terms one by one the first one is the global positioning system this is also called as gps it is nothing but a set of satellite in the earth or in the earth object sorry in the earth orbit which sends the radio signals that can be processed by the ground receiver to determine the geographic location of a particular thing particular person on the in the earth surface this global positioning system provides continuous position information about a particular object or person while in the motion while the person is moving or uh, presenting at particular area this global positioning system help to identify the particular attributes or particular location area of a object the information this global positioning system gives the location information at any time helps uh, helps in improving or uh, taking observation about soil or crop management at particular time the gps receiver can either be carried to the field or mounted on a particular implement allow the user to return to the same specific location to sample or to treat whenever they uh, whenever it is needed means if we use the gps system we can take a sample we can take sample from a particular area for uh, so many time for so many time like we can take observation if we are taking observation in kharif season and we have traced its gps location we can again take the information about soil from the same particular location in rabi season zaid season as we have 
the information of the area from where the soil has been taken the geographical information system basically tells about the position of field by telling us the coordinate like latitude and longitude this particularly can be used in the vehicle or in any agricultural implement which are used in the agricultural operation the information which is taken up or which is generated by the gps is called as uncorrected geographical system data when this data is compared with another data which is taken up by the satellite or by a system which is present in the ground area then it is called as differential global positioning system we will discuss this in detail in our next upcoming chapter the second one is the geographic information system what includes in this this is basically a software that imports export and process spatially and temporally geographically distributed data this deals with the management of spatial information of soil properties cropping system pest pest infestation and weather condition this is primarily an intermediate step because it combines all the data which are collected at different time based on sampling regime to develop a certain decision technology such as process model expert system etc means the main purpose of geographic information uh, geography information system is what it it will only made a map like structure or compile all the data which which can be gathered from different different things the main purpose of global positioning system is to give a exact location of object or person the main purpose of geographic in, uh, information system is to gather or compile different different data whether it may be in a special manner related to earth or in the or time based data means the geographic information system collect the space related data and time related data compile them and generate a map so that the data can be easily understood the second one is the variable rate technology the existing field machinery with electronic control unit on board gps can fulfill the variable rate requirement of input the variable rate in uh, rate applicator has three component first is the control computer second one is the locator and third one is the actuator the application map means how to apply what to apply is loaded into a computer okay and then that particular small chip is mounted on variable rate applicator now the computer uses the application map and a gps receiver to direct a product delivery control the change in amount or kind of a product according to application map what happens in this a particular application map is generated according to the need of particular land according to need of particular crop that particular application map is loaded into the computer and that small chip or small data is incorporated into a device or in incorporated into seeder or digger whatever instrument which are using for applying the seed or input uh, is loaded into a particular device okay this that will also have a gps receiver that will track a particular location where to apply fertilizer where to apply the pesticide and the variable rate applicator apply the things in a proper manner in at proper time next one is the yield monitoring and mapping what happens in yield monitoring and mapping the yield monitor is in it intended to give the user an accurate assessment of how the yield vary within the field a yield monitor by itself can provide useful information and enhance on farm research yield data can be accumulated for a specific load or field thereby facilitating the comparison of hybrid variety or treatment within test plot the yield mapping 
is first step to determine the precise location of highest and lowest yield area of the field and to analyze the factor causing the yield variation suppose you have 1 hectare of land so and you have grown crop in that 1 hectare and you see that in particular part of land the yield is more the plant population is very good the vegetative growth of the plant is also good and in within the 1 hectare in few part the growth of plant is patchy the appearance of plant is bushy the yield monitoring and mapping help in identifying the factor what causes the variation within the field what are the factor which are responsible for creating variation why there is no homogeneity between no homogeneity within the field why one hectare land area is not homogeneous so in this way you can apply the things according to the variation within the field next one is the crop scouting what is crop scouting it is it mainly referred as monitoring inspection or surveillance of crop for general plant health what i have said it referred to as monitoring inspection or surveillance of crop for general plant health that is insect pest mite disease nutritional or any other disorders basically when we monitor a crop for disease plant sorry disease insect nutritional disorder it is considered to be as crop scouting mainly in the crop scouting we see which type of weed are present what are the weed weed patches present in the crop which type of insect and fungal infestation is present where the crop is grown which what is the nutrient status of the crop tissue whether the area where crop is grown is flooded or eroded area it mainly involves the gathering and recording of information about a particular crop on regular basis to enhance the process of making a crop management decision we regularly observe the crop periodically observe the crop so that certain observation certain decision can be made for improving crop yield the last one is the remote sensing it is most important one we will discuss this topic separately in our upcoming classes what is remote sensing it is collection of data about object from a distance without having any physical contact with the object or in contact with the collecting device in this remote sensing it is mainly a multidisciplinary activity which deals with the inventory monitoring assessment of natural resources through analysis of data obtained from observation from a remote platform in the remote in the remote sensing there are certain rays which are transmitted from the natural vegetation from the land area from water from eroded area from flooded area which are reflected back to the satellite there is another satellite or sorry there is another platform in the earth which again transmit the signals so these signals can be interpreted and give the exact nature of the soil exact nature of vegetation whether the area is flooded or not we will study about all these techniques in detail let us summarize about all these techniques the first one is global positioning system global positioning system basically tells the definite location a certain location of particular object global positioning system compiles all the data which are present which can be Uh, which can be taken up by g uh, which can be taken up by different different technologies and generate a map the variable red technology includes different different uh, amount of the agrochemical can be spread into the field with the help of variable red technology yield, mo yield monitoring and mapping help in analyzing the variation within the field crop scouting basically improve basically monitors the variation which uh, variation caused in the crop population because of pest insect weeds like that the remote sensing gather information without having physical contact with the object what are the main issues and concerns 
while adopting the precision agriculture is first one is the area coverage and data management as india have vast variation in the area few person have very large land holding few have smaller land holding so it is very difficult to gather information about all the land area a particular data is needed for precision farming about soil crop parameter these soil and crop parameter are dynamic in nature so repetitive coverage with remote sensing platform are essential for correct information lacking of that we are unable to use the precision agriculture in india the second one is the scale bias scale biasness include the variation in land feature because of the variation in land feature we are unable to adopt the precision agriculture in smaller area as we can harness the advantage or benefit of precision agriculture in the horticultural crops horticultural from horticultural farm or commercial crops so this is the variation scale variation third one is the infrastructural technology not only the technical development will help the farmer the farmer for uh, adopting the precision agriculture infrastructure is also equally essential to facilitate the data processing its storage accessibility and timely product delivery at the user and provider level it needs huge investment for the development of ss and monitoring system information technology such as network has to be developed extensively for subsequent distribution at the farmer level so infrastructure is also a major concern for adoption of precision agriculture next one is the ownership and privacy as so many farmers are there who do not have their own land holding they take the they take other other uh, what can we say they they take land of others cr grow crop on that take 50% of produce give 50% of produce to their owner and take 50% of the produce so ownership variation is there in the india that's why precision agriculture is difficult to adopt next one is the social economic and demographic condition there are lot of variation in the social economic and geographic demographic condition of farmers which are present in the india that's why it is very difficult to adopt the precision agriculture in india but it is not impossible to adopt the precision agriculture in india as we are also growing technology as we have adopted lot of technologies for adoption of precision agriculture india has also developed so many robots which can help in application of agrochemicals there are so many drones satellite imagery can also be produced drone help in taking picture of the particular field area there are internet of things like there are our mobiles are so much advanced that there are self built system of gps so many apps are present which can be helpful in the agriculture even the computer are also well developed in the india which are helpful for adoption of precision agriculture the main thing which is lacking is the awareness among the farmer and we have to develop the awareness among the farmers so can they can adopt the precision agriculture if we grow the crops traditionally the loss is there is so much loss loss of input loss of fertility loss of the essential nutrients which are present in the soil in order to improve the efficiency of all the things we have to move toward a modern technology move toward modern agriculture that is the precision agriculture why to waste the things if we can uh, if we uh, we can just improve the yield or if we can just improve the quality by applying a smaller things there are few assignment which you have to complete at the end of this week that is that you have to just tell me the difference between precision farming and traditional farming what is the scope of precision farming in, in in india the next one is the difference between gis and gps the last one is difference between remote sensing and gis that is the geographical system geographical information system here are few different differences which i have considered 
while making this light thank you